Sleepy Sea Dragon, more commonly known as the Bicoterus Epres, is a cousin of the seahorse. Unlike its cousin, it's got a straight tail and is found in southern parts of Australia. They grow up to 35 centimetres and are found approximately 25 centimetres under the water. Sea dragons use their long snout as a vacuum to suck food into their small mouths. Their common meals consist of the mycid, an opossum shrimp, or sea lice. These are both found on algae and seaweeds. Among other things, they also eat plankton and small crustaceans. All these animals are found on the red algae and seaweeds that thrive in the shades of the kelp forest where the sea dragons also live. Much like the seahorse, the female is the one that lays the eggs, then transfers them to the male via a long tube. Around 100 to 250 eggs are cared for by the male. There is currently no correct theory as to why the male cares for the eggs. It's unknown. The eggs are pink in colour and are kept in a brood patch on the tail of the male. Eggs hatch after about 9 weeks dependent on the water conditions and the young are completely independent from birth. Out of the 250 eggs, only 5% will survive and the young take 28 weeks to reach sexual maturity. As a male cares for the eggs, you would expect females to compete for males. But males still have to compete for the females, and do so by wrestling and pecking other males with their snouts. Leafy sea dragons use camouflage well, and are looked over often. They have no natural predators. Although, they have been hunted and caught by collectors and used for alternative medicines. Also, as they don't have curled tails, storms can be very devastating for them. Without the curled tails, they can't hold on to anything and therefore drift ashore during storms. It is still largely unknown for what makes leafy sea dragons mate in the wild. Leafy sea dragons are found only in southern waters of Australia and do in fact travel hundreds of meters away from their habitual locations. However, after drifting, they always return to their homes and use their strong sense of direction to do so. They do not migrate and therefore damage to their ecosystem can be very damaging. They are part of quite a small food chain. As they have no natural predators, their limiting factors become food and comfortable temperatures of water. They live in kelp forests and sand patches. Their waste provides some nutrients for the surrounding habitat. They also eat the small crustaceans that live in the kelp forests and sand patches, and therefore control their population levels. Leafy sea dragons are part of a group of animals of which young are completely independent from birth. They are therefore in part of the reproductive strategy of active at birth. They do, however, begin to eat different animals larger as they mature. This may be a learnt activity, otherwise they are completely independent and their behaviour is innate. Sea dragons are completely awesome.